welcome everybody in today's video we will start decision boundary so what is a decision boundary it's actually a specific area or a shape which we can use to draw the boundaries between different predictions or possibilities so we get different boundaries to predict data in multiple figures so that's the short form let's move on i have a request to make so we have reached 163 subscribers so my target is to reach 170 and i'm sorry for delaying the videos because i was having a hard time making my schedule so sorry for that and i will try to make them as soon as possible so in the logistic regression as you know the h of theta x equals to g of z and where z is theta transpose x equals to 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus z that's g of and where z is theta transpose x so let's suppose that it predicts y equals to 1 if h of theta x is greater than or equal to 0.5 so that means this area above this area from 0.5 to 1 so for this area the g of z predicts 1 but for 0 2.5 it predicts 0 y equals to 0 so that shows us that as you know h of theta x equals to g of z and equals to g of theta transpose x since z is equals to theta transpose x so according to that z equals to theta transpose x must be greater than or equal to 0 so the inside thing must be greater than or equal to 0 to predict y equals to 1 and opposite will be in the case of y equals to 0 so for that case z equals to theta transpose x transpose simply means that if it's a row then it will be converted into a column so the row elements will be converted into a column so i think you can imagine that now let's move on so let's take an example of first a linear decision boundary it will be just a line to represent here when we take the examples of theta equals to th minus 4 1 and 1 so theta 0 will be equals to minus 4 th theta 1 will be equals to 1 theta 2 will also be equals to 1 so now let's see so it will predict y equals to 1 whenever the inside thing that is the theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 will be greater than or equal to 0 when we put the values of thetas there we get minus 4 plus x1 plus x2 greater than or equals to 0 so this will predict y equals to 1 when it is greater than or equal to 0 and this will predict y equals to 0 when this is less than or equal to 0 so when we take minus 4 that way it will become x1 plus x2 either greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 0 so that means whenever we put x1 as 0 let's take this x is b x1 and this will be y1 sorry x2 so when x1 will be 0 y x2 will be 4 from the equal to sign or maybe greater than that or less than that so we take equal to sign here to get a clear idea which is the main point above or below will be the results so similarly when x2 will be 0 x1 will be 4 so this will be a straight line from x on x equals to 4 on x to y, y equals to 4 on y so above that will be our possibilities of ones since it, it asks for greater than or equal to so greater than 4 on the y then 5 6 7 so it will be in this area and if we take the y equals to 0 case then it will be this inside area so i think you have understood that so let's keep moving so now it is the case for no linear decision boundary so we have a polynomial equation with uh, multiple powers so x um, theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 plus theta 1 x1 square plus theta 2 x2 square this could be theta 3 x3 square plus theta 4 x4 4 square but i took it uh, x1 and x2 for simplicity so we we just eliminated these two these these variables with the power one so these will be eliminated 
by placing theta 1 and theta 2 here so this will be theta 3 sorry for uh, a mistake here so this will be theta 3 and this will be theta 4 so theta 0 is equals to minus 1 theta 1 is 0 theta 2 is 0 theta 3 here will be 1 and theta 4 will be 1 so this will give us an equation a simplified equation let's see and that will make a circle since it will become minus 1 plus x1 square plus x2 square greater than or equal to 0 so for a circle that's that's the equation so that was very simplified equation although the equation can be x square plus y square plus 2 gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 that can be a, another equation but we take a simpler simplest example for learning and it will predict y equals to 0 whenever this is less than equals to 0 so that will be a circle so the inside thing will contain all the zeros or the negative examples anything you can say you may ta take y equals to 1 as negative examples anything you can do but it must match with your data so i think you have understood it well so here the decision boundary is this circle inside which are zeros and outside which are ones so i hope you have understood it well so that's all for today so thanks for watching and see you later